Apple's new A11 Bionic processor for iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 includes a brand new dual-core neural engine that performs up to 600 billion operations per second for real-time processing of machine learning, augmented reality apps, and immersive 3D games. The chip also enables the new Face ID, and emoji, and other features. For this video, we'll focus on augmented reality and what we can expect from the future of Apple's AR kit. At Apple's WWDC conference in June, Apple released the AR kit to developers, and they've since been hard at work to bring AR apps to iOS. This Tuesday, Apple showed off some impressive augmented reality apps and features, like Sky Guide, which allows you to point your new device's rear camera at the sky, revealing constellations and naming stars. The app is already available on the App Store and shows an animated sky, but with iPhone 10 and 8, it will augment the actual sky. Apple also showed off an app that allows you to see player info and stats in real time at a real life sports game. Finally, games like Warhammer 40k Freeblade and the machines were showcased, allowing users to play in real life against friends on a table that is actually in front of you in the real world. The games use Apple's Metal API 2 to render the entire game on your screen, allowing you to view it from any angle. You can even get close to the action to view impressive textures and also listen to the spatial audio. This means the audio gets louder as you get closer to the action. Solid objects will even block audio and work together with the stereo speakers to accurately represent what you would hear on the battlefield. If you want to try this out for yourself, there's good news. While Apple AR Kit will work best on the new iPhones, it will also work on the older models thanks to iOS 11. Hardware dating back to the iPhone 6S and iPhone SE will automatically have support for ARKit when it launches next week on September 19th. The new iPhone 8 will be available to order on September 15th and officially released on September 22nd. If you're planning on trying it out on the new iPhone 10, you'll have to wait until October 22nd to order before our November 3rd launch. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.